To get a true sense of where our water comes from, we must flow back to where their stories begin. First, let's meet Wade, our California native, as he tells us about his last trip to Rancho. Hey, I'm Wade, and traveling is my life. When I'm moving, I'm happy. One of my favorite trips is to Rancho Water through the State Water Project. I travel more than 600 miles from the Sierra Nevada mountains through the State Water Project and then on down to Southern California. After a mellow ride down the Feather River, I always stop at Lake Oroville and the Oroville Dam. It's so relaxing and I get to see so many friends from NorCal. I'm never in a rush to get out of here. Next up, the Delta. Another good place to meet up with old buddies. It's not without traffic though. Sometimes it's a bit tough to find my way. I try not to let it get me salty. After that, I'm off to the California Aqueduct. 444 miles of pipeline over the Tehachapi Mountains, the highest water lift in the world. Ah, the East Branch Aqueduct and Lake Paris near LA. My last stop before heading to Rancho Water. Finally, Lake Skinner, your friendly neighborhood reservoir. I'll hang out here until I meet up with the rest of the Rancho Water family. Next, we have Brooke. She's from Colorado, but she has a soft spot for the Temecula Valley. Well, hello, I'm Brooke, a snow bunny at heart, but always a fan of the California sunshine. Getting to Rancho Water from the Colorado Rockies is quite the journey. During my travels, I get to visit with family from so many states. There's Lake Powell near the border of Utah and Arizona, Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam in Nevada, and then it's off to the Mojave Desert and Lake Havasu. Nothing like floating with friends in the desert heat. Next, it's time for the Express to the West through hundreds of miles of pipeline, five pumping plants, and tunnels. It's a wild ride with ups and downs and twists and turns. I always like to find a cool place to relax. Lake Skinner. Here I can meet up with my family from the State Water Project so we can continue our journey to Rancho Water's customers. And, of course, there is Spunky Rain. He's got the energy of youth and visits Rancho Water as often as he can. Hi, guys. I'm Rain, and I gotta say, field trips to Rancho Water with the Water Scouts are my favorite. Here I am, just landing in Temecula Creek and going with the flow to Vail Lake, Rancho Water's Reservoir. Some of the other scouts drop straight on the ground, but don't worry, we'll meet up at the recharge basin later. Since Vale Lake is local and already in Rancho Water's service area, it's a quicker, less expensive trip right into the action. But first, I had to find the filtration station so I could get cleaned up for the next part of my trip. Here at Natural Recharge Basins at Valle de los Caballos, I meet up with the other water scouts to finish our requirements for our groundwater recharge badge. Now I'm clean and recharged. I am allowed to visit Rancho Waters Wells. Lots of places to see before I head back home. Sometimes it feels like the days flow by so quickly here at Rancho Water. And lastly, meet Pristine. You've likely met her before. She is recycled after all. Greetings, I'm Pristine. And when you live in the Temecula Murrieta area like me, I think staycations are the way to go. 
Once we reach a certain <clears throat> age, everyone wants to take a fabulous cruise on Rancho Water's Purple Pipeline. But their requirements are strict, and they only accept the best of the best. This particular trip got off to a slippery start. I almost missed my appointments because of fog. Fats, oils, grease, really the worst. Anyway, here I am finally going to my favorite Rancho Water Reclamation Facility for a spa day. The technicians are the best and the quality never disappoints. I always sign up for the preliminary treatment, oxidation, and a thorough filtration so I can feel refreshed. And of course, chlorination is a must. It really clears my head. After my special treatments, it's finally time to board my exclusive Purple Pipeline cruise. Now to experience the great outdoors in style. Early bird gets the worm and the best tea time. There is nothing like hitting the golf course early in the morning. While Pristine is busy on the course, let's check back in with our other Rancho Water characters. When we last left Wade and Brooke, they were enjoying a float on Lake Skinner, about to join Rain in Rancho Water Well. Let's see where they go next. Great trips, everyone. I love seeing how we all come together at Rancho Water, and how our droplets even get recycled to be used again. Me too. I love being available for the Rancho Water customers anytime they need us. Oh, time for you to go, Rain. We will be flowing right behind you. With 1,000 miles of local pipeline to choose from, the options are endless. Hope I end up at a filling station. Middle school, here I come. My turn, ready to serve Rancho Water's customers whenever they need me. The grapes won't water themselves. Thanks for joining us for the many adventures of Rancho Water. We are always here working for you, our community. Gotta go. I'm headed way up the hill to visit our neighbors on the mountain. Catch you later. 